Prince Harry, Meghan Markle ban uniform nannies for Prince Archie. While Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son, Prince Archie, was born in a royal family, his parents are making sure to raise him slightly differently than the assigned age-old customs. The 34-year-old Duke of Sussex was reportedly to have prevented nannies hired for four months old to avoid wearing a uniform for Archie to have a normal upbringing. Royal commentator Omid Scooby told Yahoo's Royal Box this week, one of the things that Harry said was, I don't want a woman in uniform around my child. This isn't Mary Poppins. We are going to have a normal household. Well, Harry declined to have one Duke of Cambridge appointed nanny Maria Theresa Barolo for Prince George and Princess Charlotte, who wears a uniform and is a Norland graduate. Miss Barolo is required to wear a uniform at all times when she's on duty, which includes hats and gloves. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have opted for a nanny who wears casual wear as she was spotted while boating a private jet for a holiday with the family. Royal nannies were traditional widows or never married, according to royal commentator Dickie Arbiter. He said, when you become royal nanny, you're all for intents and purposes giving up on your own existence. The nannies that looked after William and Harry were either widows or never married. The same with the Queen's nannies. So there is as well trying to find the right person who's going to fit the mould, the discreet who will put your child's well-being at the centre of their existence, but be happy to give up a huge part of their own life. Princess Harry and William are still close to their childhood nanny, Tiggy Leggy Borky, who is said to have played an important role in the young prince's lives after Princess Diana passed away. Prince Harry even invited Tiggy, 54, to Archie's private christening held in Windsor, which had a guest list of around 25 people. She retired when she married in 1999, and Prince Harry is godfather to her son, Fred.